Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I am going to do my absolute best to try and teach you how to read tablature, okay, guitar tab, like sheet music. To be able to look at a piece of tab and hear it in your mind's ear, let's say, okay? Um, to be able to look at a tab and immediately decipher it and know what you're supposed to put on, okay? Instead of uh, trial and error. Because tablature, let's face it, is an awful, awful medium. It's lines and numbers. It lacks rhythm, okay? It lacks uh, any musical sense, okay? It's just random numbers. Um, and if you add the ages, the P's, the T's, okay, hammer on, pull offs, tapping, the slashes for slides, um, then it becomes kind of like a cipher. It's, it's a code. Now, sheet music is also a code. Okay, let's make no mistake about it. Sheet music is also a code, but sheet music has rhythm. Sheet music has rhythm and just a few symbols that go vertically up and down. Here we have the up and down part, but we have numbers, okay? The guitar goes sideways as well. So it's a visual representation of the guitar, but it's not really a musical representation, right? It's completely unlike sheet music. Now, when you want to uh, be able to decipher a tab, pretty quickly, you need to take in the numbers uh, in all directions, okay? Because if you play something like this, okay, you have zero, one, two, and three, but all over the place. So you need to see the chord shape. You, you need to find out, okay, which chord you're playing. That's the first step. So if I see one, zero, two, three, Okay, I know this C, okay, even if they're far apart. The first thing I look at when I look at a tab, if it's chords, okay, if it's solos, then it's, uh, then it's a lot simpler. But if it's chords, I look sideways and I gather the notes. And then, in, then my mind's uh, eye kind of stacks them up, okay, so I can see which chord it is. So if I have one, two, and three, I immediately know that it's C, F, E7, okay, or D minor, okay? You have one, three, two on D minor. You have three, one, two on E7. You have one, two, three on F. So that's the first step to get used to stacking the notes back up into a chord shape, okay, in your mind's eye. Now, uh, it might take a while to get used to, but once you get used to this, there's no going back. If, um, if you see something like this, okay, something like this, just, okay, this chord, okay, and you see the open fifth string, the open uh, first string, okay, you see the zeros immediately, but then you have five, six, seven, but again, they're all over the place. Okay, something like this. They're all over the place. So you need to stack them back up so you can see the order. So you can see six, five, seven. And then you know that you're playing this, okay? This chord. So train yourself to mentally stack the notes, to ignore the rest of the song, to ignore the rhythm. The first thing you need to do is to stack the notes back up in your mind's eye and collect them from the bar to just mentally collect them and stack them back up. That's the first step. Now, in order to train yourself to hear the tab, that's a little bit more difficult because you need to connect the lower strings to lower sounds. You need to connect the higher strings to higher sounds. It's exactly like ear training with sheet music, okay? So, in order to do that, you can try writing out a little bit of tab, 
and try to sing it. Okay? You don't have to be precise. You don't have to, uh, to sing the correct notes. You just want to approximate the pitches. And the way to do this, so one of the, the, one of the uh, most insane and yet fun ways that I found uh, for doing this is uh, license plates. License plates or uh, serial numbers or phone numbers, right? Whenever I walk, uh, I walk my dog, um, I just look at license plate numbers and I try to imagine them as tabs. I try to imagine them as solo tabs. Okay, let's say it's 919182. Okay, so I know that it's gonna be something like this 91082. So it's gonna be something like. Okay, something like this. So hopefully I got it uh, right number wise. All right? Okay, I wasn't too far from it, right? Relating the pitches, but if the, the, the license plate or the serial number or the phone number looks like a chord, then I try to think about and decipher what chord it, it, might, it might be. If you have um, 0302 or 2300, okay? or 0023, let's say, then the 0302 would translate to a sus form. Okay? The 0032 would be a kind of a um, E, let's say, um, flat five. Zero zero two three would translate to this cool F chord. Okay, this cool Spanish style F chord. Okay, so um, the more you try to imagine the chord when you see any sequence of numbers, the better you'll get at it. Try to remember it. So by the time you get home, you'll try it on the guitar. Okay, it's kind of a mental exercise. <clears throat> and the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. Now, if for example, you have, um, you have letters as well in your country. Some countries only have numbers, some countries have letters and numbers. So um, I remember a really, really nice license plate I once saw, CF. 025 GC. Okay? So immediately I imagined. Okay? This. I tried to create a piece of music out of it. Uh, 025. Okay? And I don't remember if that was the exact license plate, but it made perfect musical sense. And there are plenty such numbers around in license plates phone numbers, uh, as I said, those markings on electrical and municipal property, um, everywhere. Numbers and letters are everywhere. And if you see A to G, okay, the letters A to G and all sorts of numbers, it, all, it can all be translated into tab. So um, train yourself uh, this way to mentally envision the music, okay? And then you'll discover that when you try to read the tab, okay, a piece of actual guitar tab, it'll suddenly become a lot easier because you've started training your mind towards that, okay? And it'll become easier to stack the notes uh, mentally and it'll become easier to actually read the, the tab. Now, uh, for example, if you're an established guitar player, and you know where things are. For example, you know that B is okay, on seven. So the, the scale would also be in, on seven. So if you read uh, a tab 
and you see uh, you you have a solo and you see sevens and nines and sevens and tens so you know that you're in B minor pentatonic territory and um, if for example you see something like this you see 10 you see a bend on 10 and then uh, 10 on the next string okay strings one and two if you see okay something like this okay even okay you know that you're either in b or e minor depends on whether you have seven or eight on the second string okay if you have seven you're in b okay if you have eight you're in e okay so okay you're in eight if it's seven it's b minor if it's eight it's e minor so you're gonna learn to connect these little pieces of information. It's no different than any musical skill, okay? Than developing any other musical skill. You need to develop those skills anyway. So work on tying your musical skill to the numbers on the page, okay? Once you start it, once you get going, you'll discover that your brain starts making those connections okay, without you noticing. So, um, license plates, that's my secret. That's how I read tab like sheet music, license plates. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. You, uh, have fun with this. Let me know how it goes and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.